Ready? <laughs> okay. Just overhead, he's the one who calls me, the one who draws me near, one who moves me beyond fear. Then sexy 
clap in the back.
Resist the oh! urge. A few months? A couple months? Something yeah. Like that? We met we met Sam because we were looking for a bassist to record with and a friend recommended him and mm-hmm. and yeah. then we fell in love. But that was like recently. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe May? Did that sound right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty We've recently. been playing together longer than we've been mm-hmm. playing together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, you know, did extensive research <laughs> in discography, and I found Lily St. Anne and the Dirty Moccasins. Uh-huh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, Lily and the Dirty Moccasins is a bluegrass band I had in Virginia. Okay. Um, and then I moved to, back to home to Portland. And took off your shoes. Took off the shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, started being a lot more religious. And <laughs> Uh, Jason and I met in September and started playing together in October. We met on my roommate's going away show. He went to New York. Mm-hmm. Playing oh, okay. music in New York. And we all played a show that night. We played a show and I night. played solo and he played with another band and we met that way. Oh, that's cool. So you have like connections to tour because you have a tour coming up on the West Coast, right? Mm-hmm. You're yeah. going to, where are you guys going? August. Uh, we're going as far north as um, Vancouver, BC. Cool. And then we're yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. I've never like played in Canada before. Do you guys have passports? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sam's not gonna be joining. Sam's not coming. Right? I don't know if he has a passport or not. I do. It's just us two. Do. You do? I do. You can come on the next tour to. If we would have known that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we would have been on this. All would have gone. Different. You don't put that on like your your like Tinder base profile. Like basis, I have a passport. passport. <laughs> <laughs> I've played in yeah. Co- in Canada in Our Vancouver. I played in both Mexico and Canada. Mm. Yeah. All right. Have you guys? As you guys have left the country before, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you? Never left the country. You never left, never the, country? left the country. Really? Yeah. Sure. I haven't either. I, I don't know why I'm so surprised about that. <laughs> 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 I have a passport that expires like July. Actually, no, no lie. I was gonna go with no lie, my yeah. girlfriend to Vancouver, Canada, to go just like just do like, to a see your show. Thing. Just yeah, specifically <laughs> to see your show. We're like that's cool. Lily St. Anne's gonna be in Vancouver. I'm gonna be in Vancouver. <laughs> you know, I could see them right down the street at turn, 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 like a few blocks away from my house. <laughs> However, I think it's worth it to go see him in a foreign country. You know, um, oh, they might even appreciate you speaking French up there too. I don't know in BC. The, yeah, they, they, I don't uh, think there's I a think connection. They, my, they might. I don't know. You might get you might get Just more people. Try it. Yeah. I'll try. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do the I'll whole show it. in French. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bonjour. Just like what? awkwardly yeah. at the end. Like. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Hey. <laughs> uh, and then we're going down to. <laughs> we're going down. Uh, hopefully to LA. We haven't found a show in LA yet. So if okay. you know anyone. <laughs> Say to the cameras. If you know anyone. If you know anyone. anyone yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the furthest south we are is Fresno right now. We're we're, we're playing at a place called Goldstein's Mortuary and Delicatessen. Wait, seriously? Yeah, and I'm like so excited about and our playing further at a most place south. That. You're playing at a mortuary. And delicatessen. delicatessen. It's just like a really hip bar, but oh, okay. But it's I a was, cool name. I, that's. I, I guess it's a cool. It's very misleading. <laughs> you know, <there's, laughs> There, there are a handful of places in Portland that are very misleading too, like the liquor store. Right, I was yeah. confused about that for a long time. Me as well. I think it's a terrible name for a venue, but I guess they, they get good acts, so I can't really shit all over them. You know, you know. Yeah, they, it's not on camera. Where do you guys like to play in town? <laughs> shit all uh, over them. We, we <laughs> do, yeah. Do you play at like? Same have you that. played at the <laughs> liquor store or just like a bunch of random liquor stores? <laughs> <laughs> just like, we just sit outside of bars, wherever people are buying liquor. We just, you know, <laughs> sing some songs. Yeah, outside yeah. of liquor stores. Yeah. 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 Where do you guys like to play in town? Um, I really like Turn Turn Turn. I'm really excited about our show there. Mm-hmm. Um, I really the like Wade playing Post. Alberta Street Pub. Alberta Street that Pub was, really was fun. fun. Yeah, pretty cool. Alberta Street Pub was fun. Nice. I really love the Way Post. That's like my home yeah. base. That's where I first played a show in Portland. Have you been there? I have. I think. Yeah, I think me and him, we, we saw Keeper Keeper there. We hung out. No, we them. got drunk with Keeper yeah. Keeper there. That's that's it. At the Waypost? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're actually, yeah, they, they were, yeah, that was, we were we were debating after that show, just like doing an interview and doing the post credits of just like us going to the bars of bands and just like getting drunk. Oh, but, nice. 
We, we could make that happen today. <laughs> <laughs> we we decided, yeah, we decided against it. It seemed like a big logistical challenge to set up a bunch of cameras in a carpet. That's the thing there. Make it really seem cool. natural. Like, yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah. Like everyone knows your name. Well, it's crazy. Like these these conversations <laughs> feel kind of forced in a weird way because most people aren't used to interviewing or these? being interviewed. Oh yeah. God, I feel great, man. Feel great. Yeah, you feel good. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're good. I feel We're like good. Really. Can it's because I, I called you cool earlier. <laughs> it gave you ice water. Yeah, I gave you the ice water because you're just so And so you told chill. a great joke. Do you want to tell that joke again? I do not because I think Danny <laughs> would be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'll shut the cameras up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So what did I? What else did I have? Oh, yeah. You have uh, an album coming out. Or an EP. Mm, EP. Yeah. I think mm. so. That's what you're doing on two turn turn. Oh, you think so? I think so. We have a single. Okay. So the single release will be the turn 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 show. Okay. And we're actually we're recording tomorrow, and um, we, we'll probably we'll probably have an EP done by September. Cool. But it's still in process. Okay. You guys got a lot of material already written out. Yeah. Mm. And you guys just did a photo shoot too. Yeah. Or you just did a photo shoot. <laughs> okay. Right. I was there. You were there. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> what were you doing? I was taking pictures of the photo shoot. Wow. Yeah. Is that what we're going to put on your band website? <laughs> 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 yeah. Photos of the photo shoot? Yeah. It's meta. Yeah. I also yeah. like carrying some bags. Um, I, you know, gave my two cents. You gave my, me some fashion advice. Yeah. Yeah. Like whether to wear the belt or not. Did they give you fashion advice today? No. No. Are you, are you the band stylist? No. But I think that... <laughs> I think that that's something I'd like to explore. Right. <laughs> we'll get there. Right. We'll get there. So you guys have a song about wolves. You got you have an old song <laughs> called Lions. <laughs> Is it wolves? Wolves. No, wolves. I can, no, I. I wow. I, this this I, I can't believe this came up in an interview because in real life I cannot say that word. <laughs> I I, ca- I cannot say. You I just say, say wolves. Wait, <laughs> that's the cutest wolves? thing I've ever. Heard. I cannot. That's I just so say horrible. I just say wolves and wolves over. There there are two different words. Oh my God, so cute. <laughs> Was that your first word? <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> it probably was. It was when I was abandoned as a child on the forest. Oh you know, I saw one of the words. I was Pischetti. like, "Is that a dog?" And you're like, "No, we're wolves." <laughs> Anyway, so you have, a song, <laughs> you have a song called Wolves. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Wolfing like the wolf. Uh, uh, you have a song called Lions. Mm-hmm. You have a song called Crows or Bros? <laughs> Crow Bro. Just... It's Crow Bro? It's <laughs> Crow Bro. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's actually the EP is going to be those three songs, and we're calling it Bone Marrow. Except all of them are singular. It's oh. one lion. It's one crow. It's many wolves. It's plural wolves. <laughs> many wolves. But it's one lion. <laughs> Multiple wolves. <laughs> it's a wolf Wo- of wolves. Wolves travel in packs. <laughs> they travel in wolves. <laughs> if you're a wolf and you're around other wolves, what's you're the, in what's, a wolf. <laughs> what's the, the similarity between wolves and bears? Wait, what? What's Is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do wolves and bears have in common? What? I can't say the word. They travel in packs. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Well, back to my Cheers. question. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Sam. Good set, Cheers. Man. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> We're getting that sponsorship. Yeah. Oh, oh God, I'm drinking the wrong beer. Right here. <laughs> mountain fresh. Yeah. Crisp like the mountain. Crisp um, like the mountain. <laughs> so, I guess my question was going to be, are there any other animals you want to write songs about? I have are there, like, animals? other animal songs. Um, I have a song about the Swifts. Do you know the Swifts in Portland? No. They're these really no. amazing birds that migrate through every year. Oh, yeah, they're really cool. Okay. Um, they also travel in packs. And <laughs> um, yeah, they're really cool. They migrate through uh, in the fall, and mm-hmm. then they go back north in the spring. Okay. And they're really amazing. So you have, like, the metaphor, howling like the wolf. What do the swifts do? Um, the swifts come and they go. Okay. What do the lions do? The lions awake. In. And sleep. Awaken. And okay. awaken. What do what do sheep do? <laughs> ba ba. Oh, ba like the sheep. Okay, okay. 
What do dogs do? Buff. <laughs> <laughs> dogs bark. <laughs> wolves bark. Yeah. Dogs and wolves bark. Did we ever come to a settlement on that debate as to whether or not dogs we bark? We did. I don't <laughs> think we're on the same page. <laughs> we do understand. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wolves bark, dogs bark. But dogs don't howl because... Well, dogs it's, howl. It's just a bad howl. metaphor because if you say like they, howling like the dog, you can think of any dog. Yeah, this is what you... It's yeah, not as yeah. vivid of an image. Saying. All of a sudden you have just like an image of like a howling chihuahua and suddenly it's like a less fierce <laughs> song. Like really annoying. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> like it's just about the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess one last question for you guys then. What would you like me to ask the next band? Oh. Who's the next band? What's the next band? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Okay. Yeah. Um, really, really musicians are just people holding instruments? I... That was really deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You lived in France for a while. I'm sure you used to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Sam, what do you think? What would you want to know about a band? I don't know. My job's hard. Yeah. I gotta tell you this. Like it's it's it's. I mean, my like go to in my head was what color underwear are you wearing? But that's like a really like you shouldn't ask people that question ever. Don't ever ask (laughs) anyone that question. Whoever's watching, it's not a good idea. Fair enough. I will definitely not be asking them. You know what? I'm doing it. What color underwear are you wearing? (laughs) I I think it'll. I think it's kind of a weird question, but with the kind of annuity, hopefully somebody sees me ask you telling me to ask somebody that, and that way just just ask like a random woman. Hey, what color underwear are you wearing? That's what I mean. Yeah, like don't. It's not a pro tip. Okay, you know what? We'll we'll mix that one. What do you want me to ask somebody? Uh, I think. Well, okay. After today, I my answer is different. But normally, I would have said that you should ask them. You know, like what made you who you are. You know, that's a good question. Yeah, really get into them. You know, find I, out. I got time for one more question. Are. Yeah. We'll Why did you that. get into music? But real quick, I think you should also be involved <laughs> in figuring out whether or not they think that <laughs> dogs and wolves also. Oh yeah. Do they? Do <laughs> that's they, a they, good they, every that's episode, a good if that's the thing, and then everybody's like, "Yeah, of course they both bark." Then I don't think you have anything, any ground to stand on. And I'll have to the whole season to determine that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's actually a good. That's a good. That's gonna be the bit for the whole season. But no, yeah. get it. You know. Get into their get into their soul. Get yeah, into their so. heart. Find out. Why did you why did you start doing music? Why did I start doing yeah. music? What inspired you to do music? Oh bear your soul out there. I like my answer. I'm gonna love your answer. Oh no, you're not gonna no, like you're this not answer. Gonna like my answer. Should, Should we, we just like good at it, but you say Should we have like a good answer music? and then a bad answer and then a good answer? Should we do like an answer sandwich? Yeah, an answer All sandwich. Right, go ahead. <laughs> why did you get into music? Um I I always wanted to play guitar, and my dad had a guitar when I was a kid, and, like, I was... He only played Puff the Magic Dragon. It's the only song he would play. Okay. But the story about it, and I have the guitar still, it's really, um, kind of a funny story, is my parents got into a fight one time, mm-hmm. and my version of the They're story... already very funny. <laughs> <laughs> my version of the story, although I'm sure it's not real, uh, completely, is that, um... They got in a fight, and my mom basically was like, you're playing the guitar more than me, and threw the guitar at him, and there's a big hole in the bottom of the guitar. Hmm. It's pretty fun. I think that's kind of like an odd odd thing to shout at. I mean, at the heat of the moment. I don't, I don't know if that's what you said. Should. But I've created that story yeah. in my head. Why, are, why aren't you playing me? Like, Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's definitely weird. Huh. I don't think I don't think I'm coming across very well. In this no, I'm, I'm sorry right to, to to make light of what would be a terrible <laughs> situation. <laughs> um, so I was going to play guitar and I never did. All right. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I think like in high school it was like a lot of guys played guitar and mm-hmm. like the girls hung out while the guys played the guitar. And I thought there was like some sort of code about that. Like I wasn't supposed to do it or something. So, I don't know, it took me a little time to catch up and be like, oh, no, I could yeah, do this thing do that I want to do. So. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Better playing guitar now. Yeah. I've been set. <laughs> Jason. Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> that's well, that's, that's you your entire you answer? Like it. Okay. okay, so, no, the reason is because... why? why okay, <laughs> I was interested in drumming before that and, like, playing music, mm-hmm. but I listened to Dave Matthews Band and I became a fan. I was yeah. I still... You were, like, enamored in, like, the 10-minute, like, drum break in every song? Well, Carter Bofer is, like, the drummer. He's a... He's an idol of mine. Okay. Um, I try to mix, like, Carter Bofer, Chris Dave, Ronald Bruner, Jojo Mayer. Hmm. 
Thank you. Um, I'm not gonna shit on Dave Matthews Band like yeah. you shit on the city of Chicago. Yeah, so yeah. we'll let it go. <laughs> <That's all laughs> like, no, I was saying that I love every hip hop artist. Not every, but uh, my favorites are all from Chicago. Yeah. But, but anyway, okay. So I saw them perform live, or like a DVD. Well, actually, I did see them perform live, and then shortly after, I saw like a DVD. Oh, you saw like, like the Gorge one, or like yeah, I would go to the Gorge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, go yeah. to the Gorge a lot. Um, yeah, my dad was like, let's go. Let's do that. That is pretty cool. Yeah. So then, you know, 20, 20 to 30,000 people in the gorge. Mm-hmm. And I'm just a little Jason. I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to do that. So then that's that's what motivated me in a lot of ways. So okay. I guess that's why I like got into it. Other than that, it was just... Um, my, Music's tight. Yeah. It was just like, yeah. <laughs> you know. Music's dope. <laughs> I know you don't like music, but <laughs> yeah. Well, I only like Audio one song. Are, Hungry like two. a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> first of all, first of all, got to give some props to Dave Matthews Band. As much as there's like this huge culture of people just thinking of like the typical Dave Matthews fan, you got to realize like Carter Beaufort, Stefan Lassard, mm-hmm. those guys were huge jazz heavy hitters. And you listen to like their stuff on other albums, you cannot deny how talented of musicians those guys are. I and, think um, they're fantastic. And Leroy. Musicians. Oh, yeah. Oh, Leroy. And now Jeff Coffin now. Um Brashawn, um, playing trumpet with them now. Just phenomenal musicians. Unbelievably high level of musicianship. So yeah, they're really that's a that's a good band to listen to, especially as a rhythm section player. Um yeah, I I know as a bass player I I took a lot from their uh-huh. music, do. I'm, okay. I wouldn't call myself like a huge Dave Matthews band fan per se, but you know, the stuff they do in a rock context, implementing jazz and funk and other genres, is totally unique from a lot of other bands. Sam now, I'm coming in can hard. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Can I interview? Can I make a comment yes. on Dave Matthews band real yes. quick? Okay. So all Dave Matthews band taught me is that <laughs> my idols are regular people. Mm-hmm. And, like, I went to go see Dave Matthews Band when I was, like, 15, and I had, like, I thought, like, you, like, I was, like, these people are, like, fantastic musicians. The drummer's great, the violinist, is, I forgot their names already, but they're, like, a really tight band. They have the ability to jam for, like, an extended period of time, which is, you know, it, it appeals to some people, it doesn't appeal to some people. Right. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was very fantastic, the ability to seamlessly transition between, like, a song and to, like, a musical break. That was great. However... When I saw him live, they were doing these, like, musical breaks to compensate for the fact that Dave Matthews was too drunk to play. And I was like, this guy is getting a shit ton of money to, like, entertain all these people. And they had to prop him on stage with the bar stool, and he just kept mm. falling over. Mm. It's like, Shh, this is a normal person. I don't want to be like Dave Matthews. I want to take this seriously. Musicians are just people holding instruments, as mm. far as I'm concerned. You know? I'm gonna go back to that, that deep thought. Mm. Yeah. But that's like that. that's my Dave Matthews yeah. experience. Yeah, like you know? it's totally fair. Totally fair. I think. I mean, he definitely went through some rough patches. Oh, I've, for I've sure. I've seen some crazy videos where put some good music totally, out though. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, what I got started with music. Um, I think my first musical experience was getting a keyboard, like age three. I think it's just one of those like oh, little, yeah, you know, yeah, like one, huh? twenty key That's keyboards, like one of the really good. tiny ones. Mm-hmm. And I remember like, you know, it was one of those old ones that had like all the little demos on it of like Christmas songs and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you, you guys ever messed around with those. And I would I would play the demo and then I would play it by ear, like really young age. And I remember like, you know, my my parents like Maybe a little too proud at sometimes, but they would like bring it up constantly and stuff. And um, from there, I just I, I play a ton of different instruments. Um, I played trombone all throughout middle school, high school. Did jazz band. Uh, studied classical trombone in college. Um, played bass. Uh, first got serious with bass when I started listening to Jaco Pastorius, and um, after that, Victor Wooten, Stanley Clark, Marcus Miller, uh, Thundercat, or Stephen Bruner. On a Bruner son. Yeah, we're all big um, Thundercat fans here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So, you know, my my influences are all over the place, and it's it's something that once I kind of got my feet wet into it, I knew I just had to do it. So, stuck through it and made it work. Awesome. When I met Sam, we like met up for a, a beer, and then I <laughs> uh, saw Jason later, and was and he was like, so like, what was he like? And I was like, 
he likes Thundercat. And we're like, cool. <laughs> Sold. All right. So the tying, the tying influence between all of you is Thundercat. Yep. Yeah, it's not Dave yep. Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. It's been like yeah. been a great time. Thanks for doing the interview. Thanks for doing the show. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thank you guys. All right.
Oh, cinnamon, where are you gonna run to? Oh, cinnamon, where are you gonna run to? Oh, cinnamon, where are you gonna run to? All on that day. Well, I run to the rock. Please hide me, I run to the rock. Please hide me out under the rock Please hide me All along that day But the rock cried out I can't hide you, the rock cried out I can't hide you, the rock cried out I can't hide you All along that day I said, rock What's the matter with you, rock? Don't you see I need you, rock? Oh, la, 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 la. All on that day. So I run to the river. It was bleeding, I run the sea It was bleeding, I run the sea It was bleeding All on that day Well, I run to the river It was boiling, I run to the sea It was boiling, I run the sea It was boiling All on that day So I run to the Lord Please hide me, I run to the Lord Please hide me, I run to the Lord Please hide me But the Lord said no I can't hide you, the Lord said no I can't hide you, the Lord said no I can't hide you Said, go to the devil. The Lord said, Go to the devil. So I run to the devil. He was waiting, I run to the devil. He was waiting, I run to the devil. He was waiting. And I cried, Power! Close off your asshole. Pelvic. <laughs> you like pelvic. 
pelvis forward. I even do in kegels this whole set. It's <laughs> <laughs> on it. Uh, for this one, I'm doing this now because I forgot. <laughs> Normally. You know we're recording, right? Yeah. <laughs>